Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 12 of electricity and magnetism. So here in this video, we're going to discuss about power distribution in LCS circuit. So in the exam question, maybe ask this way, calculate the average power distribution in LCS circuit. Right. So before we start, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded. And if you like my videos, please hit the thumbs up button as well and share with your friends and stay connected. Okay and i have up uh, i have uh, you know uh, given the link in the description box uh, of the uh, links of the previous lectures from uh, 1 to 11 in the description box so what's them all okay so now let's start here you can see this is an lcs circuit and uh, i have mentioned what i have considered okay what are the terms that i have considered so i have mentioned here already so this is the uh, emf uh, alternating em source and here you know the instantaneous current i is given by i naught into sine omega t plus phi so if you have already watched the previous lectures you should know what's phi here and what are the terms that i have used here okay so i don't think i need to explain right so now you see uh, here i naught that is the maximum current so here i naught i naught is equal to given by e naught u over u over r square plus omega l minus 1 by omega c whole square right and 10 phi this uh, you know this phase right uh, 10 of this phase 10 phi is given by omega l minus 1 by omega c by capital r right so now you see now you see this denominator this is nothing but impedance z and here you see 1 by omega c is capacitive reactance and omega into l is inductive reactance so i hope you know these things so now you see uh, let me go to the next slide let me go to the next slide first let me copy these expressions first so here you see if phi is the initial phase then uh, you see we can draw this uh, this is suppose r then sorry this is the angle phi and this is your impedance root over r square plus omega l minus 1 by omega c whole square right and this is nothing but omega l minus 1 by omega c right so you can draw this if you observe this expression carefully you can see we can express this way uh, we can express with the help of this figure um, because you see let me simplify this for you so here you see suppose we have an expression like this a square plus b square root over a square plus b square is equal to c suppose then uh, we can draw a figure like this this c is this one right which is a square plus b square then uh, one side of the other rem other two remaining sides must be a and another must be b 
and if this angle is suppose phi right we can write 10 phi is equal to b by a right so here you see this angle is phi then if 10 phi is equal to this one by this then this would be here and this should be here so that's how we have got this diagram so hope you have understood these things so now let me clean this thing so from this figure we can say cos phi is equal to r by root over r square plus omega l minus 1 by omega c whole square right this expression is uh, for power factor of an LCR circuit so this expression this is this is the expression for power factor in LCR circuit right now now you see the average power in a circuit in this uh, lc circuit is uh, can uh, it, it can be obtained uh, from this uh, p is equal to 1 by t this is the time period the time required uh, for one complete cycle uh, in order to calculate the average power then we have to integrate 0 to capital T E I D T from this expression and then we will get this result E naught by root 2 I naught by root 2 cos phi which will give you 1 by 2 E naught I naught cos phi right and how we have got this expression uh, got this result here this simplification part is not required because uh, here we will uh, consider that uh, this result p is equal to this average power is equal to half e naught i naught cos phi is known to us so we will take that with the because we need to find the power displayed uh, in lc circuit okay we are not uh, going to obtain the expression for average power so that's why so let me ignore this part so you can write half p is equal to half e naught i naught cos phi this is what average power in average power in the LCR circuit right so now uh, let us put i naught is equal to this here okay so then what you will get let me go to the next slide so then p is equal to half e naught so here let me use this value of i naught here and then we will get here e naught by root over r square plus omega l minus 1 by omega c whole square right into and also let us put the value of cos phi here then you will get here into r by root over r square plus omega l minus 1 by omega c whole square that's what you will get and uh, after simplification we will get 
e not square e not square into r so e not e not e not square into r right divided by 2 uh, if you multiply this 2 then root will be removed then what you will get r square plus omega l minus 1 by omega c whole square so this is the expression for power dissipated in lcr circuit right so hope you have understood these things and uh, if you have understood please share with your friends and if you are new to my channel subscribe the channel hit the thumbs up button also hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded and stay connected so see you in the next video thank you for watching